Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's having a lovely Sunday. So, just a quick update on the collection, guys. We have three malts in the collection, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, a few of them are three or four days old, the malts, and one is 24 hours old. So let's take a look at the collection, guys, and uh, let's see if everybody's okay. So, guys, as you know, this is my female... Parabuthus Velocus Orange Morph and she's having a little dig round she looks like uh, Bob the Builder <laughs> but yeah she's doing okay I do apologise guys I was supposed to pair her up with my male and I've completely forgot all about it I do I am very very sorry so I'll definitely pair them up this week but as you can see guys she's doing perfectly fine so guys the tarantula that molted 24 hours ago is my Canthoscuria genicolata looking fairly big now oh my god absolutely beautiful and there's the malt there so I'll leave the malt in there for around two or three days uh, he or she might grab some moisture out of it I'm hoping that this one is a male so I can breed it with my sub-adult female I've got this one as a free tarantula off my good friend Nicola thank you Nicola but yeah, absolutely stunning. So guys, if we just come down a little bit by my tiger rump. In here is my three Embalfori communal slings. So I'm going to be rehousing them this week as well into a bigger enclosure. Which will be this enclosure here. Which used to be my daughter's but uh, she kindly gave it to me. So yeah, I'll be rehousing them this week and uh, please stay tuned for that video. So guys, the other tarantula to malt in the collection is my second Gramasola pulchra, the Brazilian black. This one malted around three days ago, so I've still left the, the malt inside and I topped up the water dish this morning. There is the malt there, and like I always say, I'll leave it in there for a few more days just to see if uh, he or she might grab some moisture out of it and there is the tarantula just there just coming out to say hello um, it's around the two inch in leg span so if it's a male or female it'll still got plenty of growing to do but absolutely fantastic species and as you know i have a sub-adult female as well so if this one is a male i will uh, pair them up in the future not be for a few years yet because this is a very slow growing species and um, it'll keep taking drink from the water dish and I'll give it a feed in the next three or four days. So guys I just thought I'd give you a little quick look at the G porker again and if you look at the malt on the left hand side it's like a brownish colour and now if you look at the tarantula it's got a jet black colour so it's nice when they do that transition from brown to black. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, like I always say, guys, you can't beat a freshly malted tarantula. Absolutely awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know who this is. My female Varsalopes that's not very well. Looks like I'll have to intervene again, guys. She's not eating at all. She's drinking water, but um, tried her with food and she's just not interested whatsoever. So... Yeah, it looks like I'll have to uh, try and find another way how to get that poop off the uh, abdomen where the spinnerets are. Because as you know, she has transfer impaction. So, yeah, it looks like I'll have to intervene again, guys. So, guys, there is my female mantis. I've only have one mantis in my collection at the moment. So, let's just give the enclosure a mild spray. We'll spray it a couple of times a week just to give the mantis a drink. And as you can see, guys, she's taken a drink already. Hopefully she'll live another two or three months yet. But, um, yeah, she's doing absolutely fantastic. I won't give her a feed. I gave her a feed a few days ago. She uh, ate a, a nice, large dubia roach. But, yeah, as you can see, guys, she's doing okay.
So guys, the last tarantula to molt four days ago, as you can see, is my female Brachypalma Amelia. And oh my God, guys, it's one of them kind of moments. Oh my God. <laughs> the colours are absolutely fantastic. So let's take the lid off and let's take a look. So guys, are you ready for some amazing colours? Boom. There she is. I've just taken the lid off and um, she's lifted her abdomen up in the air. She was telling me to go away and leave me alone. I've left the malt in there, but uh, yeah, it's been a, a few days now since she malted, like I said. So let's take that malt out. No need to uh, keep it in here any longer. But um, yeah, she looks absolutely stunning. So if I switch my light off on my iPhone and use a flashlight, you'll see the colours even better. So everyone, the light switched off. Let's just switch my flashlight on. And there's the colours, guys. Holy scamolies. Absolutely stunning. So I'll give her a feed in the next two or three days. I'll give her a good week to recover from her malt, and that should be perfectly fine. So yeah, no surprise in my collection, and she's looking absolutely stunning. So guys, there is my entire scorpion collection. I showed you my Velocis Orange Morph earlier, but that is the entirety of my scorpion collection. They're all doing okay, and uh, like normal, all the water dishes need filling up again, which I'll do that uh, a little bit later off camera. But down the bottom there, is my Embal 4 female, unfortunately no sack. So, and uh, as you know, the mature male died. Uh, on the left there is my three inch female LP, Lacedoria Parahabana, just filled up her water dish. Uh, down the bottom here is my sub adult female, Age Nicolata. And there she is, guys. Oh my god, look at them colours. If you've been watching my videos, for a while or my channel i do appreciate it thank you so much she malted around two months ago so that's why she's looking really really fresh and i just wanted to show her because i showed you my little sling earlier and hopefully we'll have a, a matching pair or a breeding pair i should say and uh, we can be them in the future so while we're here guys let's get a nice large roach and let's give her a feed so guys, I have a nice adult female roach. I had a little feeling she was going to be hungry. Like all hygienic colitis are, they have an absolutely huge appetite. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll leave her alone now guys to sort out her meal. And let's continue with the video. So everyone, one true spider that I haven't shown you for a while. This is my female sun spider. I've had her now, probably around about six years now. And she's looking absolutely beautiful. She's definitely due a feed. Her abdomen's looking not too bad. But um, I'll give her a feed tomorrow. So please stay tuned for that video. It's always nice to see her out and about. So guys, that was a little video of my uh, collection and update. And I promise you that all the other tarantulas are doing fine. Sorry about the glare from the sun, but not really much I can do about that. But uh, yeah, the collection is doing fine. So thanks for watching, everyone.